experiment to prove that a compound can be broken into elements on heating materials required 2 to 3 grams of red colored mercuric oxide a test tube test tube stand bunsen burner and a splinter experiment place the mercuric oxide in the test tube fix the test tube to a test tube stand heat it on a bunsen burner observation and inference when the test tube containing mercuric oxide is heated strongly on a bunsen flame a colorless odorless gas is liberated the liberated gas rekindles a glowing splinter showing that the gas liberated is oxygen at the same time a silvery white liquid is left in the test tube which is mercury mercuric oxide mercury plus oxygen to separate a mixture of ammonium chloride and common salt by sublimation take a mixture of common salt and ammonium chloride and place it in a china dish now cover it with an inverted funnel plug the open end of the funnel with cotton heat the dish gently on heating ammonium chloride will directly change from solid to vapor and condense on the upper cooler parts of the funnel common salt will be left behind the dish to separate mud and other impurities from muddy water take some muddy water from the pond or river and pour it in a beaker now allow it to stand for some time you will see that some mud and other impurities settle down at the bottom of the beaker this is called sedimentation now pour the clear water gently without disturbing the sediment this is called decantation to separate a mixture of water and chalk powder take a mixture of water and chalk powder in a beaker take a circular piece of filter paper and fold it twice and then open it into a cone shape now wet the cone shaped filter paper and place it in a funnel pour the mixture slowly on the filter paper using a glass rod to avoid spilling off the liquid collect the clear solution in the beaker this clear solution is known as the filtrate the solid left on the filter paper is termed as residue to separate a salt solution by evaporation take some salt solution in a china dish and place it on a sand bath on heating the water changes into vapor when all the water evaporates you will see a white residue left in the china dish this is common salt to separate a salt solution by distillation take some salt water in a round bottom flask and set the distillation apparatus now heat the solution on heating water evaporates and rises up in the form of vapor these vapors get condensed back into liquid water on passing through the condenser and finally gets collected in the beaker The pure water obtained is called distilled water which is pure form of water to separate a mixture of immiscible liquids using a separating funnel take a separating funnel and fix it to a stand with the help of a clamp then pour a liquid mixture of water and kerosene into it allow the mixture to stand undisturbed for some time You will see the formation of two distinct layers. The lower layer will be of water and the upper layer will be of kerosene. The two different layers are formed due to difference in their densities. The lighter component forms the upper layer and the heavier component forms the lower layer. On opening the tap of the separating funnel, the heavier component that is water can be collected in a receiver. as soon as all the water is collected the tap is closed now collect the layer of oil in a separate receiver 